James, OnlineCarShow.net. When this video, we finally got the headers back on the ZR1. So with that hesitation, let's go ahead and get this video started. First off in this video, I want to thank Roger for bringing by the starter. Uh, couldn't have got it all buttoned up in time like I did without his help. And also, thank you so much to my son Chris. He came out here at the worst times when I couldn't get the uh, mid-pipe on the car and uh, would help me balance the pipes while we forced it in. It wasn't too bad, I wouldn't say, but uh, just know going into it, there are going to be some aggravating moments probably. I wouldn't use this video more or less as an install, but you might just use it as like a lessons learned. Uh, I learned a lot by doing this and hopefully I can translate some of that over to you guys so y'all don't make the same mistakes I did. Before we get too far in this video though, please be sure to hit that like and subscribe below. It helps support my channel and helps my videos to grow. Uh, also, we're starting to sell swag in the online car show store. So if y'all are interested in getting some online car show swag, I'm going to have a link in the description below. Well, where do I start on this? I guess to go over the process would be the best thing to give y'all. Uh, I think that plays a big importance into it because I ended up torquing the heads or the uh, headers down and I should have waited and did the mid pipe first. I would say is far as sequence of events if you ended up taking the mid pipe down which i don't believe you really need to we did but it's arguable if you need to uh, i would do put the mid pipe back on first for the first sequence of events then once you got it snug in place where it's supposed to be lined up connect the back of the header or push the header into the you know into position kind of without screwing it down from below of course and then tighten the header onto the mid pipe uh, don't well don't tighten it down just enough you know keep it loose so you've got some leeway then once you got that go ahead and screw it down torque it down on top then torque it down on bottom if you took off the oil and water cooler or the oil cooler on bottom put it back on at that time put the oil lines back on uh, then go ahead and put your spark plugs your wires make sure everything's you know torqued down to specs and you should be good to go but i made the mistake of torquing down the headers like a goofball and not going back under and doing the mid pipe and i had to loosen the headers to get the mid pipe on so uh, i would just make sure all the bolts are lining up before you start tightening on anything and uh, go ahead and do just connect the bottom part then tighten the top So that gives you an idea of the process it's going to take to get the job done. Uh, now here's a video of the clips we took here and there throughout the job. Also, be sure to stay tuned to the end. I'm going to do some driving footage so you all get to see it in action. Here's the headers I got back from Polydyne Performance Coatings. They look freaking amazing. Not a bad spot on them I could find. They did an excellent job. Great work there, guys. Thank you all so much at Polydyne. We're going to get those bad boys back on the car. I keep burning up starters in this car. We recently got the headers coated by Polydam Performance. Hey Fiona. But got the coated, the headers coated by Polydam Performance coating, ceramic coated in a titanium color. They look freaking amazing. But just as added protection, I am gonna go ahead and put a starter heat shield on as well. This, the DEI I noticed has two versions of their heat shield. They have an extreme heat and then they have their standard heat shield. Being that these are ceramic coated, I'm just going to go with the standard. Uh, I think it runs about $30 or less. I'll have a link in the description below those that are needing one. I think this works with every starter and you basically just wrap it around it and cut it as you need it. So I'm hoping between the combo of using the starter heat wrap from DEI and the ceramic coated headers from Polydam Performance Coatings, we can finally have a starter that will last longer than a month. Uh, we'll see but this should do the trick 
So next, I'm gonna be taking, I've already got the car jacked up in the air, it's on ramps. And I've got uh, jack stands underneath it just for added safety. So next is I'm gonna crawl up under here. I believe there's two or three wires, I can't remember, but I'll give you all a close up of it. Really easy to get the wires off the back of it now that the headers aren't in the way. But just know if you're removing the starter with the headers there, you're probably gonna need to undo the starter bolts. There'll be two bolts going upward unscrew those bad boys it should loosen it up the starter or allow you to lower it which will allow you access to get to the bolts on the back so it is kind of fun taking it off without with the headers on the car with them off the car it's simple but so we're going to take that off i'm also going to put some heat wrap tape uh in a heat protector plastic tube whatever around the o2 sensor down there just for added protection on it so next i'm going to unbolt the starter get her off the car we'll take a look at the old heat wrap and the old starter and i'll get it sent in uh, most gm starters come with a one-year warranty so if this happens to y'all you do get a warranty on your starter i'm going to take this in for an exchange and uh, get the new one wrap it and we'll put her back on the car excuse the mess behind it but we've got a wire hanging down here as you can see kind of got melted here the uh heat shield did so we're going to use a combo of an old heat shield i have laying around and some high heat tape i found and i'll put a link to this in the description anybody wanting to get some it should match what gm uses on parts here and there so got her all fixed up best job i could do not the prettiest but it'll hold i think and keep the wire protected I'm going to go ahead and do it to the other side, even though it's not melted. Well, there you can see the end results. Uh, went ahead and wrapped that wire. And also, because it's the same material that was wrapped around my, my inlet and uh, exit line from the engine for oil, I went ahead and wrapped them too. Or re-wrapped them. The wrap from GM was coming off. So, little touches you can do doing it yourself, I guess. Right kind of stuff a shop should be doing when they're messing with your car but don't bottom half is done now I've just got to get that pesky mid pipe in it is gonna be a blast but look at how clean the oil oil lines look now that I've wrapped them you can see why it mattered being so close to the headers and then the starter is up under there just to note to y'all that are doing this trying it yourself uh, we had pain the butt of a time getting the mid pipe back in if you do end up taking the mid pipe down which i don't really think we should have just know you get to get that position before you mess with the headers up here just loosely bolt it down there and then loosely bolt in this then torque these and then torque those all right we'll just give a quick update i went ahead and got the long tube headers on the car and you see there Man, those ARP bolts look freaking killer on there. And you can see a little bit of the head bolt peeking out there too, ARP. That was kind of fun fitting that in there. I used a little bit of styrofoam. I think I probably still scratched a little bit in there, but hey, it's on the car. And underneath, note to y'all doing this be sure you put on the co2 sensors before installing it i had the fun of trying to put on the co2 sensor while the header was up there it's a lot easier if you do it before putting it in but everything's coming along fine i'm uh, just waiting on the starter and we'll be able to do the other side well got everything done on this side that was fun but bolts are tightened down uh, i think i researched it was 26 to 31 pounds i didn't at 26 hope that's good nudged them a little bit so maybe 27 28 also just to add something here when you're putting back on the spark plugs be sure especially with the ls7 ls9 to go ahead and add on some anti-seize on the spark plug just a tiny little hair and smooth it around the threads that way later on if you ever need to take those back those spark plugs off they're not going to be seized onto the motor well got the starter back on heat wrap all tucked away now we're just ready for the headers. All right, your pasture side is done. The plugs in, got the headers on. Still got to connect the lower half CO2, button up the oil lines. 
All right, next we're going to go into the oil change. Uh, I use AMS oil, the OE, and I use 530. I probably could increase that to 540 maybe or 040, but we're just keeping with the stock weight for right now. Uh, AMS oil is pretty good stuff. If you go out to their website, I saw it was on on sale, seven something a quart. And here's the AC Delco filter I use, UPF 48R. It's a extra gold uh or ultra guard gold sorry but we'll get the oil change next and then it'll be on to the coolant got the radiator fluid filled up or coolant uh only thing left is i've put seven quarts in here but i've been reading it's 10.5 quarts and you should fill it up you know 9.5 or something before starting only got nine quarts right now so I'm gonna have to wait for two more quarts from AMS oil just put in the order so hopefully by Thursday she'll be running underneath we got her all buttoned down you can see on the back got the clamp screwed in I was told you want to be extra careful with is there's a clutch wire that's up here by where those headers are uh, on the on the wall there's a clutch line excuse me that's one of the number one places that Corvettes can catch on fire, somebody told me. So you want to make sure you have good clearance between that clutch wire and the, and the header at all times. So double check that before ever starting her back up. You can see how good the, uh, I'll go show you all a shot of the other side with the uh, new radiator lines. Or excuse me, new newly wrapped oil lines. <laughs> radiator. But they ended up pretty good, I think, for me being a rookie wrapping them. I think they look really good, and they uh, came along nicely. One of the advantages of doing it yourself, you can just take your time and perfect every little part of it, get her, get her good. Well, one more thing. I mentioned I was waiting on oil from AMS to finish off the fluids. Uh, also, I filled up the antifreeze back up. I'm going to need to run it with the cap off and put in some more Dex Cool. Make sure you use the five year Dex Cool GM approved antifreeze on this. They make it in a 50 50 or a concentrate. But what we're going to do is when we start it up, we'll of course let it run up to heat for the oil so we can put in that last half quart of oil. And uh, also, we'll leave the top off this as I mentioned, let it run and uh, fill this up as it heats up but it's already taken crap I don't know three gallons or so uh, and it's staying pretty constant right now there might be another half gallon or something I'll need to fill up we'll see as it heats up but uh, I was kind of surprised how much it took just sitting here. I'm gonna plug back in the battery I filled it up with nine and a half to ten quarts of oil somewhere around there the 2012 ZR1 calls for 12 or 10 and a half quarts, so uh, we'll let it run till the oil gets up, I don't know, 180 degrees, and then let it sit for five minutes, check the oil, and fill it up to the line on the dipstick. That's what you should always use when changing the oil, not number of quarts, but actually where it shows on the dipstick. Fill it up a little bit more, it looks like, with radiator fluid, and I'm leaving the cap off as I run it and we'll fill it up as it shrinks down. So here we go, the first test fire as soon as I get the battery on. nasty.
Thank y'all so much for watching my videos. Please be sure to hit that like and subscribe below. And I hope everybody has a great week.